Let's look at example number six. Suppose that the function f of x is approximated near x equals three. So a couple things. When it says near x equals three, this just means it's centered at x equals three. By a third degree polynomial, Taylor polynomial, and it gives the Taylor polynomial, and it asks us to find the values for f of three, f prime of three, f double prime of three, and f triple prime of three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first going to rewrite this Taylor polynomial just a little bit differently. So do you agree that my Taylor polynomial for a third degree should be f of three, centered at three, by the way, plus f prime of three x minus three, plus f double prime evaluated at three over two factorial times x minus three squared, plus f triple prime evaluated at three over three factorial x minus three cubed. Okay, so using this as the Taylor polynomial that, we've, that we're gonna find, look at what we have. We were given four plus, we weren't given an x term. And then it went to five times x minus three squared plus six times x minus three to the third. So we're missing this linear term here. So I'm just gonna write that we have no linear term. Just so you can see what we have. Now looking at this, I've got some pretty easy answers actually. Um, I can see from here that f of three has to be four. So if I wanted to find f of three, I know that's four. Now, what I also know, because I don't have a linear term, is I know that f prime of three equals zero. What I also know, if I keep going, is that f double prime of three over two factorial needs to equal negative five. So I'm gonna set that up as an equation. I'm gonna say f double prime of three over two factorial needs to equal negative five. Well, what I have then, if I multiply by um, two factorial, I get that f double prime of three equals negative 10. And then finally, if I do my last one here, f triple prime of three over three factorial would equal this positive six. And so if I write that out, f triple prime of three over three factorial equals six. Well, three factorial is three times two times one, so is six. So I get that f triple prime of three has to be 36 or six times six. Basically, I'm just solving for that variable. Now, the question is asked, does f have a local max, a local min, or neither at x equals three? Well, let's think about this. What we know is that f prime of three is zero. What does that mean? What does it mean if our first derivative is zero? Well, it means that this is a critical value. So it is possible that I will have a max or a min. So what I'm gonna look at now, because I have no other information about what's going on around f prime of three, um, I just know at f prime of three is equal to zero. But what I can look at is I can use my second derivative test. And the second derivative evaluated at three is less than zero, it's negative. So therefore, since um, the graph is concave down, let's just, instead of saying since, let's say using the second derivative test, we know that the, since the graph is concave down, we have a local max. Concave down gives us a local maximum.